Hi there, my name is Christian Olivier. I am a freelance illustrator and graphic designer from Cape Town, South Africa. I was fortunate enough to be commissioned by the Adobe Creative Residency Fund to create an illustration using their new platform, Adobe Fresco. Now for those of you who don't know what Adobe Fresco is, it's an amazing new platform on the iPad in which one can seamlessly integrate both raster and vector illustration techniques. Now as someone who has always worked in between Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop, this is very exciting. I've only been using Adobe Fresco for roughly two to three weeks and I already feel it is going to revolutionize the way I create illustrations. So without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. So here you can see my finished illustration using Adobe Fresco. I created this piece using Adobe Fresco's versatile vector brushes. Once I complete my vector illustration in Fresco, I then put it into Photoshop where I add some type, texture and shading, as you can see here, just to give it a slightly more organic, natural feel. Today I will be showing you my process from rough sketch to complete vector illustration. As you can see, I've turned down the opacity on the layer of my sketch here, just so that my lines show up a bit more nicely as I'm creating my illustration. The next step would be to add a new layer here, where I can start adding my vector brushes. These are the most used vector brushes that I use in Adobe Fresco. Um, I enjoy using the basic round brush, the basic taper, and the basic begin to taper and the basic end to taper. All in all, these create these, <laughs> these result in a very natural drawing experience. So what I like to start with usually is my outline. Once I've created a solid outline of my illustration, I can then start to integrate all the little detailed and tapered lines. I'm going to give you an example of how I perform my outline and how I create the tapered lines within my outline just by showing you how I'm going to illustrate this ear. One thing that's important to keep in mind when drawing in Adobe Fresco is that the brush is pressure sensitive. This can be turned off, but I like to keep it on just because it results in a more natural looking line as opposed to some of the lines that one would create using pen tool. Another really cool feature of Adobe Fresco is that you can undo very quickly just by tapping with two fingers if you didn't like the line you created. This allows me to create multiple lines and choose my favorite one which I think works best with the illustration. Adobe's Fresco's eraser tool also works really well just to smooth out those lines and make sure that they aren't too lumpy and bumpy. This is something that I really missed in Adobe Illustrator and I'm very excited to be using now. I'll just be smoothing out these lines a little bit more. Now I'm going to select my basic taper brush. I could probably use the basic end to taper, but I find if I start my line somewhere in the middle here, it uh, kind of falls nicely into that curve. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Obviously the more we press, the thicker our line will be. I'm okay with that. So what I'm going to do is thicken this line here a little bit more. Just close up this gap slightly as you can see I have it in my original illustration.
Cool. So now I'm going to get into some of the detail within my ear. As you can see, this line here tapers on both sides, so I'm going to be using the basic taper brush. As you can see, this line here only tapers at the end and starts over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my basic end to taper brush. This way, we will only have the end of the line tapering off. Another feature which I use quite often is as you can see there's a slight bump over here. If I wanted to remove that I can actually use a lasso tool which is very useful because I can very accurately choose exactly where I want to make my selection and then I can erase leaving my line nice and smooth. Now for this line, as you can see, it also tapers on both sides. So I'm going to select my basic taper brush and I'm just going to contour it nicely without adding too much thickness. This line here tapers from one end, but I'm still going to use my basic taper brush as I want to extend this line just a little bit. As you can see here in the middle, we have a little X, which will both taper on both sides. No need to change the brush. Cool. So now I'm going to show you what my finished line work, vector line work is going to look like. It's going to look something like this. As you can see, very natural difference in thickness, variation of thickness in the lines. I really enjoy this as it reminds me of when I used to draw with my fine liner in school all the time. A lot more organic for a vector illustration. So now I'm going to show you how to incorporate some color. I'm going to show you my fully colored design. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull in a color palette um, just to make this go a little bit faster and um, show you how I add some, some color. So I've already copied and pasted my color palette. I'm going to add another layer here on the top. To move your layer, you simply hold down, drag up and release. I'm going to select here and I'm going to paste in my color palette which I already copied from my previous design. So now I'm going to choose and this is the fun part of the design because this is really where you get to experiment and um, most of the technical work is done. Uh, so what I've decided is I'm going to make his face yellow. A pretty cool feature of Adobe Fresco is if you want to get a color you simply hold your finger down and hover it over the desired area. <clears throat> this is something that really blew my mind when I started using the program is that one can, ooh, sorry, <laughs> first be sure to select your vector layer. One can use the paint bucket tool to drop in a vector color which is um, Oh, which is something that I've never been able to get my head around until now. It's something that happens very easily within Adobe Fresco. I'm going to choose a background color that fits into my color palette, but still stands out relatively well. 
I'm not sure if I like the blue. I'm going to have a look at this yellow and see what that looks like as my background. Okay, so I like that a little bit better. Cool. So here you can see my final illustration fully vectorized in Adobe Fresco. Now, before I show you my final Photoshop document, I just wanted to explain to you one more really cool key feature of Adobe Fresco, which got me very excited. This is called vector trimming. Now, how vector trimming works is, let's say I wanted to draw a picture of a fish. Now, if I wanted to add some lines through the body of my fish, and then remove these outer areas over here where the lines protrude, I can do that very quickly using the shortcut tool, which is this little circle you see here. One simply double taps the shortcut, tap it again, and draw lines through the lines that you'd like to remove. This saves me a lot of time. Cool. So now it's time to show you my final photoshopped illustration. As you can see, I've added some type here and here. And then I've gone and added a nice texture along with doing some shading on the borders of my illustration. This helps to give it a much more natural, organic feel, sort of making one, making the illustration look more like a piece of physical art. Thank you very much for watching my tutorial. Please keep an eye on my channel for future videos and tips on Adobe Fresco to come. Thank you.